hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is patience if you are new here and if you have not subscribed kindly click the subscribe button right now it is free so today i'll be making this beautiful mono strap dress with asymmetric ruffle hem so let's get started and i will be using this beautiful fabric for this tutorials so this is my shoulder line I'll be using this pattern paper to draft the front piece. So on the shoulder line, I'll be marking my shoulder measurements, which is 16 divided by 2, that is 8 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 8 inches. I will not be adding half inch. So from the 8 inches, I'll, I'll go down by 1 inch from my shoulder slant. So I'll be marking my armhole measurements, which is 8 inches. I'll go ahead and mark 8 inches, then connect the points. I'll be marking my shoulder to bust measurements, which is 10 and half inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 10 and half inches and connect the points. I'll be using 16 and half inches for my shoulder to waist measurement. Then I'll be adding half inch at the 17 inches that I will use to join the lower part of the dress. So I'll go ahead and mark 17 inches and connect the points. So I'll bring down those eight inches I took earlier to this line, which is the chest line, and I'll connect the points. So I'll mark the midpoint of this line, which is 4 inches. Then from the 4 inches, I'll go in by 3 quarter inch. Then I'll use my pattern master to make a slant line from the 3 quarter inch to the tip of the shoulder line. Then I'll use my armhole curve to make a curve from the 3 quarter inch. This is for my front armhole. So the next measurement is my bust pan measurement which is the distance from one nipple to another. Mine is eight inches divided by two is four plus half, that's four and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and mark four and a half inches on the bust line and on the waist line. So on the bust line, I'll come down by one inch, then I'll connect the points. So I'll be using one inch for my dart. So I'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides then I'll create my dart. So I'll be using 4 inches for the width of the neck. If you don't want it to open, you can use 3 inches. Then I'll be adding half inch on the shoulder for sewing allowance. So I'll be taking my circumference measurements. My both circumference is 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. I'll mark 10.5 and then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance. Then I'll mark the same measurement on this line, which is my bust line. So my waist circumference is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches plus 1 inch for that. That's 10 inches, so I'll go ahead and mark 10 inches, then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance. So I'll go ahead and connect the points, then I'll cut it out. So 
So I'll go ahead and label this as the chest line, the bust line and the waist line and sewing allowance. So this is my front piece. I'll be drafting the back piece on this pattern. Uh, the first measurement I'll take is I'll take my zip allowance. I'll take one inch of my zipper allowance. So I'll start my measurement from this one inch. I'll mark my shoulder measurement, come down by one inch, make my shoulder slant. Then I'll take my armhole measurement. On this back piece, I'll not be taking the shoulder to bust measurement. I'll be marking my shoulder to back half length, which is 15 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 15 inches. Then I'll connect the points. And then I'll be taking my shoulder to waist, which is 17 inches. So I'll bring down my shoulder measurement on this line. I'll connect the points. And I'll mark the midpoint, which is 4 inches. On the back piece, I'll come in by half inch make a slant, then I'll curve my armhole. So I'll be taking my bust pan measurement, which is 4.5 inches on the chest line. I'll come down by two inches. I'll also take the bust pad measurement on my waistline, then I'll create my dart. So I'll go ahead and take my circumference measurement plus one inch for sewing allowance, like I did on the front piece. So I'll go ahead and connect it together. So on this line, which is the back half length, I'll be taking my zip tightening. So this depends on how deep your back is. You can use one inch, you can use half inch, you can use three quarter inch. So I'll be using three quarter inch. Then I'll be making a slant this way. So I'll also be marking 4 inch for the width of my neck and then I'll add half inch on the shoulder for sewing allowance. So I'll go ahead and cut this out but for now I will not be cutting out the zip tightening. So in order to cut the neckline, that is the mono strap, I'll go ahead and fold the one inch for zipper allowance this way. Then I'll open it up and divide it. Then I'll fold the one inch for zipper allowance. I'll fold in the one inch. I'll use the tip to secure it. So I'll be placing the front piece on the back piece so I can cut it together. I'll use a, a pin to secure it to make sure they are aligned before I cut the mono strap. So I'll be making a curve from the armhole to the 4 inches I took earlier for the width of the neck. So depends on how open you want it. You can use 3 inches or 4 inches. That is if you don't want it really open. But I'll be using 5 inch for the depth of the neck.
so I can now join it together and cut my zip tightening. So this is the back piece and remember I'll still be taking the one inch for zipper allowance. So this is the back piece and this is the front piece. So my patterns are ready. I also have this skirt pattern that I will use. I have a video on how I made this basic skirt. I will put the link on the description box below. So. I'll go ahead and cut this out on my fabric. So the length I'll be using is 20 inches and this is 22 inches. So I'll be using half inch to join the ruffles. Then I'll be using one and half inch to hem it. So that is 22 inches. So I'll go ahead and trace this out on my fabric. done that on the front piece and also the back piece I've marked my darts and also the zipper allowance so I'll go ahead and divide this back piece into two and then I'll place good sides on each other I'll go ahead and mark where I want my zip to stop that is six inches. So I'll mark six inches, then I'll be sewing from the six inches downwards. So I'll go ahead and pin it first, then I'll sew it. Then I'll also sew in my darts on the front piece and also on the back piece. So this is the front piece and the back piece. So I also cut out a facing for the front and the back piece. So I'll go ahead and pin it down because I'll be sewing it very close so it is done this is how it came out I have also ironed in the one inch for zipper allowance and I've also taken in the darts so I didn't finish the I didn't finish the neckline because I'll be attaching my zip first before I finish it. So this is the front piece. I've also attached the facing. This is it sewn and pressed. I also took in the darts. So I've also taken in the darts here and I've sewn the zipper allowance on both the back piece and the front piece. So on the front piece I'll be making the curve from the, the hip line to the edge of the hem for my ruffles. So I'll go ahead and use my hip curve to make a curve so I'll be cutting both the front and the back together so I'll go ahead and place the front piece on the back piece and I'll make sure they are aligned Then I'll go ahead and cut the curve. So 
so i'll be attaching this to the main skirt after i attach the ruffles so i'll be attaching the ruffles from the waist to this edge so i'll go ahead and measure it So what I have here is 36 inches, so you can times that by 2 or 2.5 two or even 3. Depends on how full you want the ruffle. So 36 times 2.5, that is 90 inches. So for the length of the ruffle, I'll be using 13 inches. I'll use one inch to hem the lower part. So I cut out two of the ruffle. That is 45 each for the front and the back piece. So I'll go ahead and use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on half inch. Gather it for my ruffle or you can pleat it if you like. So I've done that both on the front and the back piece and this is how it came out. So the next thing is to attach the remaining parts. So I'll go ahead and attach the front piece first. So I'll make sure it is aligned this way. I'll go ahead and pin it down, then I'll sew it by a half inch. So this is it, I've done that, I've joined it on the front piece and also on the back piece. So this is it. The next thing I'll do is I'll make sure good sides are facing each other. Then I'll go ahead and align this, the, that's the front piece together. I'll be joining the upper and the lower part together. So I'll make sure the darts are aligned. I'll go ahead and pin it down then also half inch. So I'll do the same thing on the back piece. I'll make sure the darts are aligned. And I'll go ahead and pin it down and sew by half inch.
so this is it sewn and pressed and i made sure the darts are aligned as you can see on the front piece and also on the back piece so i'll be fixing my zip i'll go ahead and pin it down first and then i'll sew it So I've done that and I make sure the waists are aligned. So now I'll be joining the shoulders together. So I'll go ahead and place it this way. I'll place it this way and I'll pick one and turn it this way. Make sure they are aligned. I'll go ahead and pin it down first and sew the half inch I left for sewing allowance. So I've done that, I've joined the shoulders together and I've also finished up the neckline. So I'll go ahead and cut the excess zip. Then I'll fold it this way. I'll be sewing very close to the zip. So I've done that. And I also use a hemming tape to join the facing. So I'll go ahead and fold the back piece this way. Then I'll also fold the front piece because I'll be joining the back and the front piece together. So I'll go ahead and align, I'll align it together. I'll align this part and I'll pin it down because I'll be sewing it by one inch I left for sewing allowance. So I'll make sure the waists are aligned. I'll go ahead and pin it down before I sew it. So this is it, I've joined it together, this is how it came out.
so I'll hem the one and a half inch I left for sewing allowance and I'll also hem the one inch I left for sewing allowance on the inner skirt. So for the sleeve, I have a video on how to draft the basic sleeve. I'll also put the link on the description box below. So I've gone ahead to cut the sleeve. The length of the sleeve I want is 14 inches. Then I'll be using 2 inch for hemming allowance, that is 16 inches. So I will make sure good sides are facing each other. Then I'll sew the one and a half inch I left for sewing allowance. Then I'll attach my sleeve. So I've done that. And I've also attached my sleeve. So this is how it came out. So this is it. And I've also gone ahead to hem the lower part. So this is how it came out. So I'm going to try this on to show you guys how it came out. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If so, kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.